Three, two, one. All right, more freezing to death in the garage. So on the 36, it has the 5.3 liter in it, if you've been following along. So I'm getting to the point where I wanted to make the air cleaner adapter so that I can hide the throttle body up under there. This is the Delmo kit. And you can put it into a speed density mode and then run a air temperature sensor. But the more I think about it and the more I look at it and read, the more I really just wish my math sensor would work. So I'm gonna see what I can do to modify all this so that that can fit. And this is your math sensor if you didn't know measures how much air is coming in and the temperature. So there's a little nub in there. The big dilemma I have is you're supposed to have like space in front. And if you think about like air turbulence, uh, it could read wrong because the air is just kind of like floating around instead of sucking straight in. So usually I think you're supposed to have like two or three inches on both sides of that. That's not going to happen. So I'm going to try it this way. Uh, whatever I do can be reversed. So, I'm going to try to just get some of this end off. Um, I have a little sleeve, so I kind of need to notch out there. I have this adapter, and then this one needs to go on top, and then it's got the rod for your air cleaner. Either that to dip down real far on the sides, and then run your filter around the outside, and then all your airflow is going to come through that filter and then suck down in here. So you'd still have your MAF inside. In case you're wondering, your truck's not custom until you get to cut your uh, mass airflow sensor <laughs> shorter with a wood saw. All right, so these are two air cleaners. These would be, you know, 283s, 327s. Uh, you kind of see them in the, the 67s, the C10s, like this one. That's actually why I have it. I had bought this, and I want to say it's from an Oldsmobile, but I swap me because I like the patina on it. I thought it would fit the truck well, and I like the uh, stamping in it. I like these too, but they're a little newer. So I was really hoping this would work, but whenever you see it on the engine, it looks too small. It doesn't really hide anything, which is kind of a downer. It just look, it doesn't look right. So I think I'm gonna have to go with this, which is actually a quicker solution. It's just kind of not exactly what I wanted. If it was rusty like this one, maybe I would like it more. Uh, I'm trying to decide. I might uh, just paint strip it and leave it raw and clear coat it or something. So this is the bottom of another base that I'd cut out. This is a two barrel base that I had, but at least the outside ring is the same. So I'm going to do some cutting and welding and things to get all this to match up. My big thing that I'm trying to do is get this to sit as low as possible. But obviously with the way I have it now, this ring would usually sit down on the front of your throttle body and so i have a good two and a half inches all right well you know more modification stuff so if you buy these this uh this is a holly what single plane intake instead of buying i don't know six hundred dollars worth of injectors i want to use my truck injectors that were in there before um that way i know it's an easy thing to get at auto parts store the height is different on these so the small bracket that this fuel rail comes with is about three eighths of an inch uh too short and then the other one is too tall so i want to make sure i put a three eighths spacer in tighten it down uh, you're supposed to be able to move those side to side but everything else is tight in there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this these taller fuel rails because i don't want adapters and everything and move that hole down, you know, cut the top off around it and do all that. I actually might strip these down because I think I'm going to strip the fuel rails down. Also, I want those raw. I want the, the truck to kind of have more of a raw look. Well, here's the difference in the air cleaners. And I know I have that snorkel going the wrong way, but it's just uh, not wide enough, I don't think. And this is the other air cleaner. I'm sure you can see it's a lot wider. It, this visually looks like it fits on the V8 better. I don't know, maybe if it's raw, it wouldn't stand out so much. Maybe it'll stand out worse, <laughs> who knows? I also thought about, I've seen some of these where 
I don't know if guys hot rod them, they knock this chunk out and then like have kind of openings all around it. Or maybe that was just a different Chevy engine air cleaner, but uh, somewhat the snorkel part throws me off. I like somewhat the idea of it pulling cooler air, not the air that's sitting right over the top of the engine. But... This is why you take your time cutting for sheet metal. So that gap is close to probably 3 16 quarter inch. For thin metal, that is the worst to weld. So uh, I'm paying the price. You just have to like keep the rod. I just barely melt it, barely melt it, barely melt it. And then I'm gonna have to clean that up forever. And then obviously pro it's probably warping. So I'm probably gonna hammer that out so it sits flat. All that work sucked. <laughs> so if you notice, I cut that ring, raised it up. It's three quarters of an inch. But the main thing that that did, how this is recessed and the air that like, kind of comes over and then funnels down, did bring the air cleaner down three quarters of an inch, but it also opened up more airflow to come in over the side. show you the finished product so this is throttle body on the bottom uh you know some hose clamps <laughs> your mass sensor and then the adapter and then i put a little stud on top well this is the part that i was working on so the black ring on the outside was two barrel uh the inside ring was a newer style four barrel and then uh like I said, I had to raise that ring up a little, and then I had to bend this flange so that I had an extra five eighths or something like that. I needed it a little bit taller, and then welded that whole seam up. Uh, you know, I didn't grind everything down perfect. It's the bottom of an air cleaner. So if you need that to be show quality, I don't know what to tell you. So now this fits on here, and then all your air is gonna flow up over into here. The reason this had to come up so this could go down, the reason this had to go down is so that the spacing between the uh, filter and the top of the air cleaner was correct. Cause then whenever you put your air cleaner on, it sits in this little groove. And I know on the original air cleaner, it actually would have been in a little bit farther, but I got this one so that I had a little more space for everything on the side. And then now, if your air cleaner goes on, hopefully it catches that stud. That's what she looks like. You will be able to see the plug out the back. Won't be able to see your math plug, and hopefully that has space. Like, looks clean. Um, you know, your carb is probably about that height anyway, so I'm not, I don't think it looks too out of place or anything like that, but. Now, hopefully that map sensor reads right. Hopefully it has proper airflow. Things are moving along on the truck. I do need to get some different fittings back here. I think I'm gonna run a fuel line splitter back and that way it just has one clean line, one clean line instead of having it all teed and seeing a bunch of junk in the back. I think I'm gonna leave everything in the back open. I'm gonna hide the coils in the frame rails and then run my wires 
up under the bottom then you don't even see your wires very much to your spark plugs i want everything looking very simple but uh you know looks like a v8 engine nothing crazy but like i said i think i'm going to strip the air cleaner down raw and then strip the uh fuel rails raw i would like them to have more of a silver look soon i'm going to start working on mounts i need to figure out where the alternator is going to go i'm not going to have a power steering pump obviously anymore I have to eliminate that and so i need to figure out what i have to do pulley wise and make sure uh to account for that 36 coming along hope you guys enjoy until i run it i can't tell you how it's going to be having your map sensor right on top of your throttle body but it did work before whenever i had this in my 67 thanks for watching later